You guys hear that? It's like perfect. No wind, just hear the birds chirping. It's like perfectly still. And uh, it kind of feels so good because it's been probably like six months since I've been in the sticks. And uh, today we're gonna try and catch some trout. We're gonna do some fly fishing. This is my friend Dylan's car. He's been here already for an hour or two. I got here a little late. So uh, we're searching for trout and we're searching for Dylan. And uh, you know, hopefully we can catch some fish. First time here for me. And um, you know, I guess towards the end of the video, I'll try and give you a little hint of where I'm fishing, if the fishing was good. But uh, we're just gonna, I guess, hike down through the sticks here and get down towards the river. The river's down the hill there. And it uh, looks like a pretty big pool here, so we're gonna to probably check it out. Trying to be stealthy, you know? I'm not running through the surf, trying to find stripers. Gotta remember I'm looking for sweet little trout, and I'm seeing some already. Seen some right over here. Not big ones, but we're seeing some fish. Oh, this looks sweet over here. Some nice ones here. I couldn't find uh, my trout net, so I brought my kayak net. <laughs> I um, I they took me like eight tries to tie with two pound up there because I'm not used to it. Bro, that was me. Bro, how you been though? Been good, been good. What's Fucking going on? Killing it, man. <laughs> nice to see yeah. you. I like you hurt. You're hurting me every time I see uh, an, an Instagram post out in Colorado. Bro, it's insane. Oh, this water's tough because there's no. It's so clear too. It's so clear and there's no drift. These fish just are sitting there like they're dead. Damn, this feels so weird. Yeah, I see some brookies and then rainbows. Yeah, the brookies are native. Oh, look at them, dude, they're fighting for it. What'd you put on, a little, uh... A little scud. Oh, I have a ton of scuds. Oh, I see a giant one right there, right behind your ring. That's like a 20-incher. Caught out of here? Oh uh, no, out of the peak class. Oh, uh, the peak class. Bro, it was a holdover. It was upstream by like a mile and a half from where they stopped. Really? Yeah, it was because my buddy saves them and throws them upstream and they hold over well. Oh, he's chasing, oh. he's chasing, he's chasing. Oh, the two of them were fighting for it. I caught a bunch of wild ones too because of him. I think I have to go thinner line. They want like two pound pass. That's what I'm using right now. I like never use anything heavier than two anymore for trout. Just he's going. Is he going for it? Oh, there you got one. I got a little one, but I saw him rise to that too. That was pretty cool. That was cool. Oh, look at the big one following this little one. I might just throw a big ass trout streamer. Let me see if I can get the big one. Get him! Get him! I don't want to get too close to the water because like these fish aren't too spooked right now, which is sweet. Cause I just didn't. This is a holdover, it looks like. Let's see. Might even be a fucking. No. Doubled up. Oh, Got him. <laughs> Feels good to be in a little trout here. Using two pound line, so I can't really horse him in. Wait, you got. You want to take a doubled up pick? Yeah, we got it. Right. Look at there's another trout chasing this one. Oh, come back, come back. I'm gonna get my little net just because I don't want to break the line. <laughs> oh, I got him. There you go, boy. First trout in a while. Woo! On the fly, like you're supposed to be doing it, bud. <laughs> you know, that garbage. Oh. All your followers are gonna hate me now. <laughs> Ready? There we go. 
because mine's a little beat up. I might release her into the current if she doesn't pull. Oh, she's doing, she's doing. She's Good. going. She's an old, Look at this old fish. girl. Trying to, I'm gonna be throwing streamers. I'm just gonna keep an eye on her. Wait, can you say that again? Yeah, what? That you put the first fly rod in my hand? Yeah, and now look at you. Yeah. And Follow his Instagram, guys. He lives out in Colorado full time and he catches some crazy stuff. Follow his Instagram. Now he's back in Jersey catching these dirty bows and dirty brookies. Oh, yeah. And now, I mean, some of them are pretty cool looking. The, the one I caught had like some big beautiful. spots, it was really pretty. The brookies out here are unreal. Oh! You missed Dude. them? Oh, the big one. I saw that. The big yeah. one came right at it. There's like a really big one in this pool. He's like 20 to 25 inches, like massive. And uh, he's cruising around. He gets really aggressive when the other trout come at the fly, right? Like, yeah. and then he like comes at it and then he turns really quick. I'm gonna put some realistic shit on. All right, let's get pick the flyer back up. Let's get on a couple more. Let's get the blood. So I caught my first fish on just a little beadhead flashback, which is like, probably the number one fly that if I go to any river that I haven't fished before I'll throw it on just because I know that fish just love like little bead heads but uh, maybe after one or two more fish I might try something a little bigger try and entice something a little bigger coming up river a little bit here I'm gonna take a look here see if there's some more fish Jesus. There's like a little sweet spot right on the back side of this rock where these trout keep rising. They're eating some type of dry fly. I mean, I'm throwing like a size 18 Hendrickson and I'm trying to get this fly right on the back side of that rock where they keep rising. It seems like that's where they're feeding. They're not feeding anywhere else either. Oh, there he goes. Got him. Got him, saw him rise to that. Oh, and he came off. Man. Ah. That happens sometimes, I guess, when you're using size 18 dry fly. Or maybe, or maybe this is size 20, but it's really small. All right, guys, so I'm working my way up river. We made a quick little run down river and we were doing like a little exploring. Saw some fish, but uh, I hooked up twice and the, you know, the fly just popped out of the trout's mouth. They were like small trout, like 10, 12 inches. So nothing really too spectacular. So I'm heading back up river to that big pool. Dylan's at that big pool. Uh, trying to catch that giant trout that's out of there. There's like a 20 incher in there. You. There you send him back. There he is, another one. The little guys are like crushing this little bead head. I probably look so silly with like this huge net, trying to net these little trout. Whoo, right in the net. So the river that we were fishing in this video, guys, was located up in northern Sussex County, New Jersey. And uh, this river was a catch and release only and artificial only river. So uh, it was really cool to go there and just see so many fish and uh, get a few trout on the fly rod. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And my next video might be up in Rhode Island, depending on if I stick around New Jersey for another day or two. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. And never forget... Live to fish, fish to live.